Truman is four, and he is such a sweet, special little guy. I forget all the time that he's nonverbal because he communicates without words. He has a really rare undiagnosed genetic syndrome. I'm very used to taking him to doctors and having them say, we've never seen this before. We can't really tell you what his prognosis is going to be. You kind of have to grieve all the things that you imagined for your child and thought they would be able to do and accomplish and kind of go right back to square one of, okay, let's make sure you're breathing, let's make sure you can eat, let's hopefully get you to hold your head up and kind of go from there. From the second I first walked into the Ability Center, I was so impressed. A dream for me was to have one of my kids learn how to horseback ride. So getting to have Truman go into the barn and see him connect with the horses and connect with the incredible people up here, I was so thrilled. Truman's been so fun to work with. I think that when he comes to NEC, he feels welcome and loved and he doesn't feel different. When we first started hippotherapy, Truman could barely walk, could not sit up in a chair, would not make eye contact with other people. Once you gain that trust in Truman, his light comes out. The fact that he starts making eye contact with us, that is huge for him. I love being a part of that because sometimes going to therapy and other clinics is really difficult for these patients. But when they come up here and I'm able to use a horse to do therapy with kids, it's something special. We can work on balance, coordination, strengthening. It can help with brain stimulation. And the most wonderful thing about it is that the kids just think they're playing on a horse. They have an understanding of us that sometimes we don't even have of ourselves. He's been through so much pain and a lot of life has been very hard for him, but that makes all the things he's doing now so much more rewarding because he's happy, he's strong. I had doctors tell me he's never gonna walk, he's never gonna crawl. So to see him where he is now is incredible. Seeing him not being able to run at all, to now he can run in the arena in that deep dirt and kick a soccer ball, that's really rewarding because now he can play with his peers at school. And so it's these little, advancements that we make each time during therapy that improve his quality of life. You want your kids to enjoy life. So much of life is moving, being outside, enjoying sports and enjoying these recreational activities. So to know that my son can ski someday and enjoy life the way that I do and have that support is incredible. Every child like Truman deserves to come to a place like the NAC and to feel loved and welcome and um, it's our donors and our volunteers and the staff here that make this place possible for them. And for once in their life, they can come and not worry about what's happening outside. And they can just focus on what makes them happy and, and who they are. As a mom, it's so rewarding to see him trotting around the corner with a big smile on his face and to see that the people he's working with genuinely love him and they don't look at him as, oh, he has a disability. They see Truman the way I do.